When I first came across the Triangle Care, I thought, how simple is this? It was back in um, 2013. Um, it had already been around for three years by that point. When you think about what Triangle of Care actually is, um, it's a, a framework, a good practice guideline for mental health services to work better with carers and to acknowledge the really essential role that carers play in our service users' lives. I think for me, one of our carers said to me, when my son had his first psychotic episode, it wasn't just a crisis for him, it was a crisis for all of our family. And that brought it home. It, it, mental health problems don't happen in isolation. And for me, the why, why bother with triangle of care is because actually, it makes sense and it makes for better outcomes for the service user. If you think about it, family members, carers, are often the first person that will see what's happening. If there's a relapse coming on, they'll be able to give us, clinicians, most useful information. They're also the people that are there when we're not there. They've got to pick up the pieces when when we're not around, when we've discharged, when we're working towards discharge. So the more we equip carers and support them to be in a supportive role for the person with a mental health problem, the better for everybody. We are aware we do a lot of good work with carers and it's, it's about identifying this good work and making sure that we, we learn from this and we replicate it in all our service areas. So it's not just about it being exceptional, it becomes the norm. It's about our staff working together to collaborate together, to share good practice, to, to improve the experiences, not only for, them, for carers, for themselves and for service users as well. Over the next three years, uh, we're going to be working with every service, every team in our trust to introduce the principles of the triangle of care. This is going to be done by teams starting a self-assessment about where they are against these principles, what they need to do to improve, and also then is about going away and start making the improvements in their service area, but also be mindful that there might be other teams that are doing similar things to themselves. So it's about getting out there, speaking to other people, find out what they're doing. One of the things that we really would like to achieve is that, that staff feel confident in working with carers. And that's a very easy thing to say, but sometimes a difficult thing to achieve because people will have their own experience of, of working with family members, friends, partners. Ultimately, what we want to bring about is a place where carers feel valued and included and feel partners in care. In some respects, when we work more effectively with carers, further down the line, we're saving ourselves some work because the person's recovery is going to be enhanced the carer's ability to support them longer term is enhanced. And hopefully the, the relapse is prevented. I think as, as well, why do triangle of care? For me, there's something about it's the right thing to do. We do it because we should be doing it. <laughs>